Hey, good morning. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, along with Jeff Pawi, my esteemed associate that has been continuously giving us great repairs for the last two or three years. I'm running him up because he's here. Anyways, if he wasn't around, I might be saying something bad. So if this video is helpful, please like, share, most of all, subscribe and share my videos. Hey, you know, I like making these videos for you guys. I want to share my knowledge, but subscribers are very very important to the two tenths of a cent i get every time somebody watches a video so i don't get it if you don't subscribe please do that for me if you want to reach out to me you can hit me up on facebook under clay's ac and auto repair my name's clay rogers with your if you got a question that needs to be answered immediately you know or you want some help with the project sometimes i can help sometimes i can't but i sure will try so hopefully this video is enjoyable thank you so much I'll continue. Hey, good afternoon. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, today we're going to be working on a uh, Stabila track, Stabila link, um, and traction control off light and talk to you about the possibilities of what this could be. In my situation, I know exactly what it is. If this video is helpful, please like, most of all, share, and subscribe. You're more than welcome to reach out to me on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook. Remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. And I hope this video is helpful for you. So, what we've got going on is to build track and to build link um, and traction control light is on. It also makes our cruise control not function um, when this light comes on. And I found out what the problem is. It's actually my brake lights are staying on. And I'm assuming that the ECM, after the brake lights have been on for a while, it has a tendency to just shut the traction control off because it thinks you're constantly depressing the brakes even though you're not. Um, so I'm going to show you how to change this switch or at least look at it and maybe potentially repair it without replacing it. Uh, if I wiggle the switch or if I step on the switch five or six times in a row, uh, it usually resets itself and the brake lights go off. I got a friend of mine behind me and that's how I know that they're, they're on consistently. Um, so we'll show you the switch and show you how this works here in a couple moments. So I couldn't actually repair the brake pedal switch itself, so I'm going to end up replacing it. And I'm going to give you a little bit of illustration. I'm not actually going to show you how to replace it. I'm just going to explain to you what you have to do. Okay, so to get this uh, brake switch out, you're going to lower down your kick panel right here with these 7 millimeter screws that hold it on across there and then you're gonna look up your brake pedal itself and up underneath there hopefully I can show you without taking this one apart because I forgot to take a video of me taking it apart and you can see it right up in there and this one's white plastic and the usually the original ones are so on the left side of the the brake arm itself you're gonna take off the clap the the metal clip retaining clip that I showed you and remove that brake pedal switch okay so if you look up underneath the dash you'll see this switch right here and this clip is going to be over it and this bolt is going to be in there what you're going to do is you're going to slide this clip over the lever that goes through there and then you're going to be able to bolt them two together so then it holds that that clip in there and then you'll slide the clip right back over the top pretty simple stuff so you've looked underneath your at your brake pedal and you pulled off your brake pedal switch you've got this clip off this clip clips to the actual lever that works the brake pedal the one that sticks out of the firewall and then it attaches through that hole so you're going to slide this on and then after you slide that on you're going to slide that lever up underneath it and clip it into place and then you'll be able to put your bolt in there to hold it down you can kind of see on the back side that it that it locks down on there just like this which is what the clips are they'll they'll uh, cradle that piece right there and then we'll see if it works so I hope this video ended up helping you you can reach out to me on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook please like share most of all subscribe to my page I tried helping you out here I'm sorry I had to have a broken up video have a great day God bless remember if anybody else can do it you can do it too